So Dr. Berman is referring to a labial to... puff, and she's mm -hmm. also labial referring puff. to board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Christine Hamori, who's here with us to help explain this a little bit. Thank you, Dr. Hamori, for being here. Thank you. So the question a lot of women have is, can something be done to give the vagina a more youthful appearance? Absolutely. It's specifically, the labial puff helps revolumize the labia majora. And how I like to do that is put a little topical ointment on the area, let women numbing sit for about cream. numbing cream for t 10 minutes or so, then wipe it off. And with a very tiny gauge needle, we inject a, a volumizer. I like Sculptra Aesthetic. It's a, it's a compound that helps cause your fibroblast to make more collagen so the area can become reinflated. Then it kind of conceals the menorah and you have a better balance in the area. Yeah, so so I feel like I look again. 25 again. On the model, we I'm, start with the local injection. Just like the doctor yeah. said, right? Yeah. We drew up the, the sculpture right? and you put this into the, and you get a little puff. Now you have to massage it <laughs> five times a day, and it, and it requires more than one, uh, more than one delivery, so up to three. A lot of women do, you know, they ask this question because we do have labiaplasties, and you know, because I this see vaginas all the time with the gynecologist, and the women will ask about labiaplasties and vaginoplasties, which is something that we're doing a lot. Gynecologists as well as plastic surgeons are, are doing now because women are, and you should, you should look down there because if you don't feel comfortable with your body, it's hard to feel comfortable when you're being intimate. But labia so is for the good. inner labia, the, the yes. drooping and the sagging. And the, of you, that's, that's more of a surgical procedure. But I can honestly say I was not an advocate for, I want women to empower, to feel empowered, to be happy with their bodies, to be, you know, we all look different until it happened to me. Mm -hmm. And I swear, you know, you're, I agree absolutely. Is, that, it, yeah. is it better afterwards? Can you tell a difference yes, with sex complete. or your... I could tell, I, we were talking about this but, um, in the green room, that I noticed more engorged, more feeling down there. Hmm. And aesthetically, either laying down or bending over, I, there was no ptosis. And, you and know, did you feel more confident? I did with my clothes off naked. There you go. Well, See, that's what really important. Wow. And a couple of take homes. I mean, it's great information for, for women that feel they may have this problem. And the other thing is make sure that you go to a specialist. It could be yes, that's true. board certified OBGYN, a urologist, a plastic surgeon. Right. Make sure you go to somebody. I would go to a, a cosmetic, somebody that specializes in cosmetic surgery because I think they're the only ones that can actually get that. the sculpture. Right. And before we move fillers. on, Dr. Mori, who is a candidate for this? Anyone really, mostly perimenopausal women tend to have deflation, but I've seen a couple women actually that are on tamoxifen that have mm -hmm. some, you know, deflation as well and just have an imbalance and just feel badly about themselves, feel droopy. Okay. Right, well. or other ladies who've had um, decreased estrogen for whatever reason, because that's really what starts to cause that drooping, it's, which is the same thing that causes the aging in the body, is that lack of estrogen. So anything that, you know, if you had your ovaries removed or any conditions that decrease your amount of estrogen in your body. And postpartum, when you swell mm -hmm. down there and then deflate, it's like, yeah, like your breast stretch. And, and then, that's yeah. Well, Dr. Absolutely. Murray and I talked about it before the segment that a lot of times we do this in conjunction with a mommy makeover, we have the fat from a tummy tuck, yeah. use that fat to inject into the labia majora. That also gives a great I'm result. I'm not, that, that, okay. That, I mean, if hurt. the patient's already asleep, it's more, a little more involved than what you're talking about, right. but another, another way to achieve the same type of, hmm. of, of improvement. Dr. Moore, thank you so much. Thank really you. Great.